Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, my name is Tere, and this episode of Tere Reacts, I'm gonna be reacting to Haley Williams' Petals for Armor, part one. I believe part two comes out further on this year, but today I get to listen to part one. Uh, as you know, my name is Tere. I create new videos every week, so if you want, subscribe down below and click the like button on this video. Now, this artist ha needs no introduction. If you don't know who Paramore is, if you don't know who Haley Williams is, so without further ado, I'm gonna listen to this track one, Simmer. Oh, we we have some vocalization going on. Okay, okay. The, not the sound I was thinking of, but okay. It's weird how this sounds. Is it supposed to be this fast? I don't know. It's like she's trying to control something. Is it like emotion? Is it her life? Is it... That's what it's giving me, that sensation of I'm trying to hold everything together and maybe it's unraveling. Uh, I don't know. She swore. I don't think Eva and Paramore did they swear. I don't know why that just baffled me, but like, ooh, and the way she's, <laughs> protect her child from a, ooh. Okay. Ooh. The way she, that is almost like a Lord kind of thing. Simma, 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 simma down. I can, I can hear Lord saying that as well. Ooh. Taylor, Taylor York. Okay. Uh, he produced this and wrote, wrote a little bit. Okay. All right, Paramore. Y'all can come, but only Taylor. <laughs> so. oh, that's what it, my brain sounds like when I have a migraine. I'm just like, ah. Ooh. Wrap yourself in petals for armor. Hmm. It's like a delicate thing for actually a really, really solid, supposed to protect you kind of. Ooh. These lyrics, though. <laughs> Oh, that I was not ready for that transition. Give in. Ooh, I was not ready for that transition whatsoever. I see that already on a TV show as like a trailer for something like supernatural. I can already see it. Talking about rage and her being like, I can't. I've never thought of Haley Williams as a rageful person, but I'm sure she gets angry over a lot of stuff that even went down with the band, even went down with her family, even went down with even her personal life. And I think that Simmer is such a, a, a good song because like, you have to defend yourself, but if you're defending yourself, if your armor is made of petals, it's not going to work out. So I... I I like the concepts and the imagery of this track, and I can I can definitely hear the simmering in the track, like her being like, "I want to literally lose control," but simma 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 down. Track two, leave it alone. I'm glad she also is keeping God and her religion kind of in these tracks. Ooh, that background, that... I like it. Noose 
Me. Me. <laughs> Same. Ooh. Turn it into a fire. Escape. You know what this reminds me of? Twilight. Like I, that's what right deep in your eyes. Like I, I get I. For some reason, I'm getting Twilight. Like this should have been on the Twilight soundtrack. That was a good ass set. So what I'm getting from these lyrics is that a lot of people she has lost and even like the bitterness, she can taste the bitterness. Maybe it's from her tears. Maybe it's she's crying. Let me bring up the lyrics here. You don't remember my name some days or that we're related. It triggers my worry. Who else am I going to lose before I am ready and who's going to lose me? This is maybe about like childhood trauma that's what i'm getting from these lyrics if i'm wrong please put the down in the description of what you might think or if you have some description of what she's talking about but this sounds like childhood trauma to me and maybe she's trying to move forward in her life but she can't leave it alone i like how she kept up the noose metaphor and made it uh useful and she was talking about like how she was gonna uh, hang it through a window pane and like escape. I like how she kept up that and made it, I can imagine it in my head. Rather than using the noose to end your life, you're using it as a way to save yourself. So far, this EP is not sounding the way that I imagined it, but I think it's just because I'm in that Paramore mindset and I'm not looking at it from just Haley Williams. I really like the production on these tracks so far. It, it, it sounds like if I could pinpoint what Haley sounds like now, I could just point to one of these songs and be like, that's what she sounds like now. Track three, Cinnamon. Ooh, I like this song already. Yeah. It always interests me how celebrities feel so alone. Ooh. I love how she's not like you know Haley Williams has the capability of saying her face off and she's just like Ooh. oh I just love how this album isn't her just being like paramore ah! it's it's it, it feels authentic to her hey As somebody who is a homebody, that I, I if I never had to go back outside, I would. This is definitely a track for me. Hey. Okay, I'm not lonely now. I'm free. Yay! Uh, also, I like the change up in the song that she's like, if I let you in, you could be a part of this party. You know what I'm saying? But, but if I let you in. Like, <laughs> if. Um, one thing that I will say about this EP is I have not guessed the rhyme scheme or how each sound song is going to sound like and i love it this is what i want in 2020 i want to come into an album or an ep and feel like i don't know what you're gonna present 
Cinnamon doesn't have like a set rhyme scheme that I'm thinking of. And yet, I still love it for creeping. Has some dark undertone. It always starts with something at so simple and innocent, but too much of anything, you never know how to quit. You hate the taste, but you don't want to forget it. Just keep on sucking on the memory of him. I like, I like this song, but I think it's because I like the, why you creeping around here? I, I like how that came in to the song because I was not expecting it. And again, this this EP has so many things production-wise that I am not expecting. And that is good. Good. Right, last track, Sudden Desire. Where are we going? I wanted him to kiss me how With open mouth and open mouth we Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Are you, are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> just when that came in, sudden desire. Oh, I, I need to hear it again. Excuse me, excuse the heck me. I was waiting for her to actually start belting out. And I didn't know if it was strategically the songs were placed like that to when we got to the point where she starts belting out because you know she can belt. So I'm so glad this, it makes Simmer all the more necessary. Okay, got it, let's do this. It's cruel to tame a thing that don't know its strength. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. That bat. Ooh. That. <laughs> okay. Okay. Everywhere I am, it sticks close like a friend, just like him. Ooh. Just it sticks close just like a friend, just like him. What happened last night outside his house? Too far to go back now. Just want to feel his hands go down. What the actual hell? I need a part two. <gasps> Thank you guys for watching my first reaction to Haley Williams Pedal for Armor part one. Um, my final thoughts holy crap, holy Toledo. One thing that I, I think I came into the mindset of listening to this was I thought this was just gonna be her outside Paramore, but it was gonna have the same flavor as Paramore. I think. One thing that I, I definitely opened my eyes was that she is definitely a songwriter. She is definitely an artist in and of herself. I am so impressed. My favorite tracks that I would, if I wanted to introduce you to Haley Williams, what would I play? Cinnamon, Sudden Desire. Those are my top tracks. I also want to make sure that these tracks aren't bad. They are not bad bad at all but for me those were the songs that stood out and I I really love how Haley has the production value of this EP is just explicitly 
and internally her. And I got that. And I, I love how she had symbolism in there. I love how she went back into her childhood because I don't think I've ever really heard her talk about her childhood. Um, and also like even some personal things like sudden desire. I don't think I've ever heard Haley Williams talk about sex explicitly. Like I, I've, I never heard her say that. So it, sudden desire was a definite shift for me. Like, I'm like, excuse me? And also with just Simmer, she swore. And she, but she swore with purpose because she was like, if my daughter, trust me, if I ever in being someday, that's going to be me. I, I will swear <laughs> when my daughter is involved or my son, trust me. So it's. Overall, I'm impressed by this EP, but I want more. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. And also, like this video just because, you know, you thought I was interesting. Also, contact me on all my social medias. I always have them listed down below. And let a girl know in the comment section, what do you think about this EP? Was it what you were expecting? Is it not what you were expecting? Let a girl know. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye.